get back to action. <laughs> We're about to. Brian Kozlowski, William Byron, Kozlowski in the two, Byron in the 24. Coming back into the Geico restart zone, green flag back in the air. And in the background, you saw Paul Menard coming off of pit road. A real tight restart here. These guys are lined up tight on the bottom and the top. Hard to tell who's going to prevail here, Jeff. Let's see William Byron get out this lead for the first time. He's gotten a great shove from Kurt Busch. He does. It's clear. Will he be smart enough? Will he do what Keselowski does and move back and forth in front of the inside and outside line to try to keep that momentum up in his car? Or will he stay committed to that top? Is that Tab Boyd's job? Tab Boyd, the spotter for the 24, you know, is he going to give him that information? It, he can give him all the information he wants, but the driver's got to be able to know what to do with it. He's got to have the experience to know what to do with it. And it's a little hard as a rookie to assert yourself, oh. right? You have to assert yourself and say, I'm going to lead this race no matter what, and that's what William's going to have to do. He went to the bottom. He got a good shove from the two. I thought the 41 was going to get in his quarter panel and battle him side by side, but he went down there, got a good shove from the two, keeps the lead. How about riding right in the middle now? Just waiting for whichever oh, line. Push. Huge are. push. And around oh. goes the two. Too big of a push. He caught the 41. The big one. Logano's caught up in it. Oh, my goodness. Denny Hamlin. Austin Dillon has damage. Daniel Suarez trying to avoid. Ty Dillon sliding in. A wreck 22 of Joey Logano sitting on the apron. A wreck two. All the Pisky cars right there. The, the, the one organization that everybody came here thinking they had the best shot to win. All three of their cars wiped out in this accident. Ryan Blaney in the 12 sitting there in the grass. You saw the two of Brad Kozlowski. A lot of damage to the nine of Chase Elliott. So many good cars. This ha this wreck happened in the front of the field. This is what Daytona's all about. Took out some contenders, and now this really is an opportunity race for somebody sitting out of that 16, sitting out of that top 16. Denny Hamlin with big damage, another fast car. A big push we saw out of the 17 of Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Was it too big of a push? Well, let's take a look at the replay. Let's take a look at the replay from the nine car first. See all the damage to Chase Elliott. It'll get pretty aggressive here. And oh, uh, just Ricky. Ricky was pushing him and also turning down the racetrack, and that was enough to turn the two car around. It was, it's just so much happening right there, and they were coming up on Williams so fast that I believe Brad was sort of th throttling down a little bit because he he was going to hit run to the back of of the 24. Can you see the 24 blocking here? So Brad's probably throttling down a little bit, and you know Stenhouse coming across the nose. Yeah, so right here, the 17, Coming watch the 17 the when he gets into the rear bumper right there, hits him in the right rear, and that's what sends him. He, we talked about that earlier. That's where you want to bump draft somebody. You want to bump them in the right rear. But when you do that and the speed's wrong and it's misaligned and also he's turning left, then that literally just shoves the left rear bumper to the inside of the car and it shot, shoots the nose straight to the wall. And we've seen this this generation of car. These guys, you know, their bumpers don't line up all that great. We don't never see these guys lock bumpers like they used to or like we see in the Xfinity series. So anytime they make a push, they got to be careful. And that was incredibly. Uh, there's just so much happening there, as you see, running up on William Byron so fast. Look who gets through the 31 of Ryan Newman, the 18 of Kyle Busch. But after that, everyone fighting to find some type of a clear racetrack. The 41, Jimmy Johnson sideways, but is there contact? He was still in the gas as it came up on the high banks. 